This video is about one of my top two mining projects that I've started in on. And this one is so small cap it's pitiful. So was the other one, Kadena, way back when I started it. This one is so small cap it's pathetic. And this miner is making good profit. It's making more than the mini doge, more than the CK box, more than the HS box. It's making almost much as an HS3, I think it is. It's making as much more than the Litecoin miners, the L3s. Oh, just go to ASIC miner value and look it up and that's how much your miner will make. That ain't really how it works. I believe right now ASIC miner value is actually making scalpers money. Because if the numbers were right on ASIC miner value, I don't think these miners would be going for $2,000. I think they'd be going for around $1,100 to $1,300 at the most on scalped prices. And this is about the Starcoin ST box. But as I say this, I've got to think that there's other miners that I'm not aware of that just don't do what they say on ASIC miner value. If there is, tag them on Twitter and put the video out there, share the video. Let's try and get this stuff a little bit closer, be a part of the community for ASIC miner value, I guess. But yeah, any way you cut it, a miner shouldn't be double on ASIC miner value what it actually brings in. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this video, star coin to the moon, by the way, it's not about cars, it's not really about miners. It's about some of the tools that we've learned to trust as miners, and honestly, they're letting us down now. Do you like mining crypto? Do you like new people coming into the field and mining crypto? I do, and in fact, I love telling people about it and love telling them what it's doing for me, and I'm excited. When there's a company out there putting up false information, whether it's intentional or not, it really hurts the community. And it really hurts the miners that buy in at these prices thinking they're going to get X amount and they get Y amount, which let's say Y is half as much as X, um, or the blockchains. The blockchains where people get butthurt because, well, the miner didn't make what it said on ASIC miner value. ASIC miner value, we got a big problem with Starcoin's value of this ST box on your site. Seeing messages and getting messages on my videos and in Telegram groups and all the places where people ask questions about this value some of them are not that happy that they're looking at your product and it's telling it this about this blockchain and then the blockchain takes the heat and the investors take the heat and the miners take the heat. I don't need to be taking your heat, ASIC miner value. Hook it up, hook us up, man. Well, the latest one is really hurting not just people that plan and say, oh, I'll believe in this number, but it's hurting a project that I really hold dear and I like. I like Starcoin. Starcoin blockchain is out of this world, man. It's a Cut above most every other, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Kadena and Starcoin, that's my top two unknown picks. Although Kadena is getting quite well known now. When Starcoin does, that stuff's gonna explode. Check out Starcoin, read the white paper. It's an amazing project with an amazing team. Man, be careful. On the Starcoin ST box, when you look it up, the gold shell ST box, it's telling people they're making like 350 to 450 a day. That is not true. During that time, the actual income is more closer to $1.80 to $2.20. Starcoin is a great blockchain and deserves a little bit more respect of getting their little lines of code that makes all the stuff right closer to all the other miners. Nothing's really correct 100%. But on there right now, this ST box is double what it's supposed to be. And I mean to the T, almost exactly twice as much. There's probably one number in this whole thing of zeros and ones. And that's the problem. Fix it, guys. Come on. So this is the ST box, and this is what they're saying that you're going to make a day. Three seventy-eight per day, eighteen cents power. And that's one of the biggest things about this one is there's just hardly any power used. I'm going to show you directly on my. Um, I just got ten more hooked up, and I did it in stages. Right about here was right, but this day I made two hundred twenty-eight Starcoin. And yesterday I made 198 and it's going to be up and down, up and down between 230 and 200, probably maybe down to 190. Um, if you take 198 and I did this already, 198 and divide it by 18 by 11 miners equals 18 coins per miner per day times nine cents. That's going to be a dollar 62 minus your 18 cents and you have a net profit of 144 and if you look at the um, other mini boxes the ck is up right now for some reason but 376 you're not going to make 
Um, you're going to make about a buck 44 at this present time. Um, you get down here to CK, they're at 205. And that was just at like a dollar 10. And it just shot up for some reason, which on the same token as the star coin being overvalued, I have found the same thing, not as drastic on the CK box because it doesn't move 50%. It just doesn't. Um, the mini doge and the handshake are way down here. And the library, oh my. It, look at the handshake one. The library isn't even there. Not even the LB box. LB one losing four cents a day. LB box probably losing eight or nine. Seven, okay. Losing seven cents. This is a $550 miner. The Starcoin miner is 800 bucks unless you get it scalped. Help make a difference. Share this video. Tag ASIC Miner Value on Twitter. Share the video everywhere. Get the word out to where people don't get deceived and get not enough money. Um, so people see that. They fly on like four bucks. They buy miners that are now overpriced over... Um, I can't say they're overpriced because I wouldn't recommend buying at $2,000 though. But saying it's overpriced is really hard because I'm mining for the future and what the coin can do and what I believe it will do. Remember Kadena? Remember when the KD box was $16.99 on the website? I mean, just straight retail, not scalper prices. And like at one point it's bringing in like 38 cents a day, 50 cents a day. And it was a $1,700 miner. I had two of those. I believed in that project, man. And when it came out and they were $1,100 on special, they were doing some kind of clearance because it wasn't making very much. I aped in and bought a couple more. Those paid for my KD5 my KD many times over. But you just can't really put a hook on what a coin is at right now and put that minor value on it really easily depending on the project. I mean, yeah, ROI is really important, but if you're close, and the project just, just seems amazing, like Starcoin and Kadena has to me, then you do whatever your gut tells you to do. You don't do what some other fools do. My stand on Starcoin would be pretty much close to Kadena. Um, it's just a different stage. I remember Kadena, it's $11 a day, and that's up, down, up, down. If you look back 30 days, Kadena is down from being averaged around 18 to 20. And if you look back 90 days, you'll find... They really boomed and took off. They went all the way up. What is their high? 2764. Man, if I could have sold everything there and bought back in here. But at the same token, down here, it was a dollar fifty-eight. And a lot of people don't remember that am I saying what am I saying on Star going? That they're getting two grand for scalped prices. Eight hundred dollars is the cost of the miner. Back when I was really mining Starcoin. I think April, March, March. Hang on, let me. I think the first Starcoin miners or um, Kadenas came out in April, March, and April, and they were sixteen ninety nine. I bought two of them. The next thing you know, when it got about here, June, they released them at eleven hundred dollars. It was hard to buy it at eleven hundred dollars. It just wasn't making as much sense, but. It sure makes a lot more sense now, even at these levels. And the coins I mined back here paid for my KD5, paid for four KD boxes, and paid for almost pretty much every much. Yeah, it paid for a lot of miners. So what you pay for a miner, if you really believe in the project, and it has a reasonable ROI compared to the life of the machine. I mean, a year used to sound crazy if you were doing Ethereum mining and you could pay for it in three months. It's just not that way no more. And a year with an ASIC, eh, if you believe in the project, this is, I've made my choices. I can't give you advice, but I can say what I've done. I've got 11 mining, and I've got five more on the way. So with that in mind, I don't know. If I didn't have a Starcoin miner, I might be considering more than retail, but $2,000? So that's a hard sell for me. Point is, Whatever the amount you're spending, whether it's the, the MSRP of 800 or some scalped price of 15 to 2,000, when you're looking at that and it's telling you you're gonna make four bucks a day, well, four bucks a day—that's basically 1,487 dollars, 1,523 a year. Well, your one-year ROI is working out to 1,500 bucks. Seems like a good deal. It's not a good deal at that rate, unless you're just really believing in the coin and the project, and that's what you want to do—is get in on a miner like that. 
We're talking all kinds of classic cars for sale. All kinds of stuff. Check the website. Check out the last review video I did with a lot walk around. Starcoin to the moon. I'm at the wrong angle. For all the car people watching the channel, this Dodge is for sale. It's a beautiful little truck. It's really good shape. That clear coat burns the only really part. And you got the fish and wildlife stuff. Interior as nice as can be. Manual V8 5.9. It's only got like 100,000 miles on it. Uh, new top end. Great little truck. All kinds of cars, all kinds of stuff. So, whole point of this video, be careful if you're using ASIC minor value. Don't believe everything you hear. Mining and investing in crypto is one of the best decisions I've made in the last two to three years. It's awesome. I really enjoy it. Having a blast with it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you.